So this is one of those things that you can do because you signed up with a faculty authorization code. It's called Lesson Link, and it gives you the ability to create a unique link to a lesson that you pick, and it gives you uh, tracking capability. So again, that's Lesson Link. Once you log in with your faculty account, you'll be able to see a link right here called Cali Lesson Link. Click on that, and then it'll, it'll give a little quick description here and you'll want to push create a lesson link right here. So you put your course name, uh, course website, that's just optional. You select your semester. And generally you'll want, you'll want to create this new each semester, so don't use past semester stuff. You want to create a new one each time. So then you click, select the topic. Every, every Cali lesson we have, the loads right there with these check boxes. You, you check the ones that you want to assign or suggest to your students and you push create lesson links. <clears throat> and like I said, what that does is create a completely unique URL, a completely unique link that you can copy and paste and put that in, you can put it on your website, you can put it in an email, you can put it on your syllabus. And what that does is gives a, a direct link for your students to that lesson. Uh, this one's the link to constitutional issues and rights of privacy. This is the link to contributory negligence, etc. So if, if you actually Copy that link, open it up up in another window. That's going to bring up that lesson, like I said. Now, because I followed that link, it's going to be tracking everything I do in this lesson. So now, it, since I logged into this lesson, it, it it shows up in your database that that I someone followed this link, and it'll it'll show the person's name. It'll show who used it. But as I work through this lesson, for the person who created the lesson link, it's going to be tracking what the scores were and what their answers were. So, Austin, um, quick question. So, I have the link. I put it on an announcement for my students. They click on the link. Will it first prompt them to log in? Yes, they'll have to log in. With, and that's, that's where the tracking comes in. That's how we'll know got it. who got what and, and what questions they answered and things like that because they'll have to log in. They'll have to have, okay. have already created that authorization, authorized account with the authorization code. So now that I've done that, I come back in as a as the faculty member now to Cali.org. Follow that same link in my right hand menu, Cali lesson link. Instead, instead of create a lesson link, there's another link up here that says my lesson links. Just click that and you'll get a complete listing of the lesson links you've created. See, here's those lesson links I just I just created for you guys. As an example, it's these four lessons, each with a unique URL. I go to details and here's the record of me as, as I went into that lesson link as a student. You can see that it shows when I took it, uh, what my score was, and when you click on the score, you can see what I got right when I was pretending to be a student and what the answer was. That's a pretty powerful tool, uh, again, because you can track it and it's all within your faculty user account. But just make sure, again, that, that students are well aware that they have to follow that link 